good morning everybody uh afternoon uh whenever you're catching this we uh, are back on the ranch this morning trying to get an amigo publica caught captured uh so he can go back home to his owner he is our breed bull for this year's fighting cows uh this is what we put on the all the cows this year and he is standing right here at the pen trying to fight the rest of the bulls that are in the other pen and also wouldn't mind getting the cows caught because there's a bunch of baby calves that need their ears tagged to start identifying uh what calf goes to what mother and so forth so we will be able to keep up with our breeding records and program but things have not been going real well getting this done so we'll have to see how this goes So that's all the cows and an amigo is up there somewhere. They're acting a bit smart about it. The little cake out. Hopefully them black cows that we have with the herd will lead them on up here. We shall see. So far, we got a batch of calves out there that ain't coming up, but we've got a pretty good solid catch coming in right here. And Amigo is in here, so I think I'm going to take my chances and get what we got. I just need them a couple little calves to get on in here a little bit further. And then we are going to jet towards is where it gets tricky because M26 has already busted me. Alright. Got an Animigo caught. As long as they don't go out my other gate. Animigo is captured but that other gate is open. So... that gate there is open we got two different gates we got a bunch of baby calves caught there's a wing calf right there to catch another wing calf caught and amigo is right there hollering at everybody uh tell you what i'll call that a catch because when we've got one two three four looking in that mirror there's three or four uh calves and just a couple cows out i'll take that as a win uh, every time end of the day one two three four four calves two cows are out worst comes to worse that red cow never comes in i don't think we've gotten her caught in i don't know three years probably she hasn't been caught so got to get our horses and everything caught here in a little bit and We'll get everything pushed up in the pins, start getting sorted, ear tag, what babies we have, wean what babies we've missed in the past gathering, and uh, yeah, ranching. What do you think, Nene? What do you think, Ike? Huh? Got these old horses rolling right where we want them to, right to the house. Uh, everybody 
say it's followed along you know what we're about to get into dealing with these cows uh this breed bull these calves at this point you know but being able to get them calves identified get an ear tag in their ear get them grouped up with their mother is a lot of the science behind what we're doing and how we're we're keeping everything uh as far as our breeding program rolling and, and headed you know if we you know getting in this far you know four or five years in now you know we're starting to get to use these calves that we've we've raised we're starting to so we're starting to get a catalog on what cows are having what calves and what those cows are producing as far as are those calves making fighters or are they making just uh just decent you know calves that, that aren't going to make the cut well if they're making calves that, that aren't making the cut then we're going to take them off this herd and take down to the other place that will become a full-time school bull school cow and then we'll put a commercial cow on them and then that way they can be raising a, a half half breeded uh commercial calf in order to pay some bills with and not be producing a, a calf that's not fighting so a little backstory for you there headed to the house all them cows right over there and amigo publica I hate to see him go but love to watch him leave he is a very mean very dangerous breed bull but uh so far he he's been good to have on the ranch he ain't tore much stuff up and hasn't raised a bunch of heck so having an amigo here has been good thank you horses thank you horses well good morning morning there ranch hand yes sir got these old i done been up caught cows done been up catching horses you ain't even cooked no breakfast don't cook no breakfast <laughs> i ain't eating no breakfast <laughs> i do that when i'm rodeoing when i'm home we're working oh felly oh bub oh bub yeah i want you to hang out with carl oh bub Oh, old Red's healing up good. Carl, he, he didn't look lame at all this morning on that bad leg. We still haven't got any shoes put on him either. So that might be something today too to do. Feller has taught all these horses these dirty tricks. That 25 year old colt, he's taught them all some dirty stuff. Q's farrier service. What are you doing right here, Q? Just flattening in the shoe. Shaping it, molding it. Shaping it, flattening it. With love and care. Love and care for old Carl. Cause he's a love and caring horse. Not really. <laughs> Carl is not a kid horse. With a hammer. Nice finished job here making him look pretty as we can Carl had that bad injury and uh, something that kind of took a long time to get healed up really 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 bad cut bad not good just thankful he's back healthy and getting where we can ride him again so we've gotten some rides in since and a couple small trips and here we are getting him shined up, getting ready to get back to riding hard again. Should be paying attention because I don't know how this bull's gonna respond to horses. Yes, I think that's that other Angus cow's calf, huh? Yeah. Hey, you got him? Are you kidding me? Oh, fat boy, 
is on his way. Keep hazing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just ride toward the pin. I think he'll follow you. All right, get out, get out, get out. Ride to the pin right here. Mothering up, good. Just taking her back to the pin. Start doing some sorting, get an amigo pulled off, tag some babies, worm some cows, living that flying W life. It's like Christmas every time this FedEx shows up because boom, who'd have thought it? Hatco, resist all hats, coming in clutch for fourth quarter push. Uh, Hatco, resist all hats. There it went. Nice. Out here doing a little bit of irrigating, or should we say, getting the pins watered down, make it a lot better for these calves and not be breathing in dust and all this sickness and get them calves ear tagged, everything kicked back out. Need a little, need a little water break, bud? Huh? I'm jealous. You can lead a horse to water. When he's thirsty, he'll drink. Whee. Hello, 98. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Think about it. Think about what we're doing here. Good job, Carl. There's them three babies. <laughs> All their mamas are in here, bub. Today is Thursday, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, Double A went to Fort Worth too. <laughs> he just ain't ever been through the ropes and he ain't worth getting in trouble with. <laughs> Grab your gate, Connor. Grab your gate. He's not one to trust, I'll promise you that. Good job, Carl boy. Whee. Good work, bub. Thanks. We're just waiting on the boss lady now. Might get a little sorting done while she's on her way, but. Woo. Here, 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 19. Boy, she's mean, son. Come on, babies. Bunch of pretty little babies. another painted up pretty little calf. Woo. 
You want to crawl over and see if you can get them into that side pen, please? Don't let her bust a gate on you. Quit. My gosh. Oh, now. Quit. Act like you've been here. That's why she ain't tipped. Yeah, I think he's a mad little guy. What is his mother's name? Number? M17. M17? That's the red. Yeah. Just trying to light us up. Hey, that's good genetics. Good genetics. Can't can't fault it for that. Yes, sir. Woo! The old bird's eye view of cattle, mamas, babies, and amigo publica. In other words, the public enemy. Woo! A bunch of little babies. Multiplying like rabbits, ain't they? Yes, sir. Fast. Real fast. One squirt per cow. 50 what? 50 milliliters will do one 1100 pound cow. Okay, and we got that on 50. Do those things weigh 1100 pounds? Yep. Okay. Maybe. So one squirt per cow. If it squirts that whole syringe, then yes. Yeah. Boom. Yep. Got any words for anybody on the YouTube? No. Hmm? No. Sure. What do you want me to tell people on YouTube? I don't know. Just tell us. Okay. Can we start? I feel like... Th Heat's on is, you. What'd you say? This is your channel. I don't know why you want me to talk. This is your channel. And that what you told You're us right. the other day. You're right. It is my video. It's your, it's your video. So I'll do what I want. <laughs> so you Can you explain why we are worming these cows? No. Uh, it's mid mid summer, that. mid end of summer. It's the grass is starched. It's very low grass. So they're eating more closer to the ground. Closer to the ground is closer to the dirt. What's in the dirt? Worms. Minerals. So when there's worms Pesticide. in the ground, pesticides, Things whatever, they're same parasites. thing. Parasites. Oh, okay. that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, that's okay. what we all meant. I was just letting y'all. Parasites are in the dirt. It's the grass is low. There's a chance it. that they're all getting consumed with worms. So we're gonna knock the worms out of them, and that will just overall be better health. Correct? Correct. Like Let's start. I'm gonna fair warn you. M19 is in here, and she is very, very dangerous. She's worse than a crocodile. Why? Because she's very, very dangerous. Don't ask questions. She's dangerous. Quit, M19. Quit. Hey. I told you she's what? She could be on an episode of Dangerous Croc. You think it's her medulla? Medulla omblongata? All oh, those teeth, no toothbrush. Push. M19, M61. Come on, sweetheart. Get out, Ike. M57, M55. Good on her back bones. M20. M26, M23, babe. Oh, mean calf. Look at her, buddy. M57's calf right there, boys. Woo! She raised a good one. All right, get out. Boom. Get your back gate there, Connor. This big wing calf, I'm gonna put him over there by himself. Good looking nation calf right there, boys. 3C. Woo! You got your list? Yeah. M72, M21. Give her a double. You bet. M 
M71. Yep. Can you read that red? You want to do something about that 24? Just call it good. That's the M24 faded plum out. There's the brand new one. Boom. Oh yeah. Nice and readable. Be good for tearing up babies. Already got a hole. You just put it right in the same hole. Bam. Done deal. M24. That's how you do it right there, y'all. Hey. Come on, girl. Hey, look, that smash, that little calf there's got a, looks like a lightning bolt going up his right side. On the far side, well, that one there too, but that one on the right there. Oh, yeah. They both got that white leg. Yeah. Wonder who their daddy is. This M13, she's about like that other one. She's dangerous, boys. Girls. Quit. And M50. M50. And Austin. M50. Yep, and Austin. Mm. What do you think, Ackerton? Huh? What do you think, buddy? What do you think, bro? A little pour on warm reaction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you appreciate that we did a little water? Yeah. Dust control? Thanks. Thanks for that. Let me tell you one thing. He might be bad, but he ain't nowhere as close as bad as nation. I will tell you that much. I think all of you guys would agree. No other bull we've had on the place is as ill-mannered and hates people as much as nation. Agree? Glad y'all agree. Here he comes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour him on too. Then what are we gonna do I'll put him in a pen. And amigo. Walk towards your latch, Connor. And amigo publica. Smash be very. He's on him, Connor. He's it on him. Ease it on him. Go on. Go on. I'm easing it. Nice. Come on, amigo. Hey. Perfect. Yeah, we'll we'll dot him and then I'll uh I'll put him back here in one of these pins. It's a very special, very nice bull. Baby. Up, Woo. He is not one to mess with. Uh. Come right here, Connor. All right, and amigo. Hey, thank you, sir. Sixty-seven to sixty-eight. Hmm. Weird how that works. <laughs> Do. I what is it? So like, whatever we numbered them, we usually just you know run them through and they get a number. Randomly. Randomly. But whenever you load them, the next times a lot of a lot times of times same numbers, numbers go together. Numbers. Yeah. Frank Newsom swears up and down that uh, the very best cows are the last ones to load. Very best bulls are the last ones to load. So myth or not, it's up to you.
Goodness. You want thing, no? Nice. Yeah. They got the heat. Yeah. Coming at me at every direction. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get in there. Here, here, here. Now, this ain't no WWE. <laughs> yeah, we got to tag them and stuff, too. Watch out, Bruce Lee. Yeah. All right, release the beast. They're all done. Get out, Ike. Woo! Go back to your mamas. Here comes the fun. Quit. Quit now. My goodness. Quit. 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 This is M19's calf, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yep. M19, babe. Oh, it's both I'm ends. Coming. Smash. I'm coming. Uh, if you can't take the heat, Cody. Get out the kitchen. <laughs> Shots are good. Shots are okay. good. Okay, wind's good. Okay. Go ahead. Watch him. Yeah. Ah. He's good. So mad. Tell you what, running out of daylight, running out of camera time here because our battery's about dead. From uh, our crew to your crew here at the Flying W, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Check out the memberships, and uh, yeah, what's your last words? Cody Webster likes iced coffee. No, I don't. That's a lie. Cowboys always win. Cowboys always win. And you know what else, guys? Nation bulls are always mean. Woo! <laughs> Golly, always mean. Woo! Another shoot full of fun here. Huh? Oh, hey, watch it. Got to watch it. <laughs> Left ear, heifer. Look out, WWE. Yeah, Lee. Heifer. Another heifer. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs>